So let's put our digital mandalas together. I'm going to show you how to do it here. Um, I have opened up an 8 inch by 8 inch document and I show my rulers here by hitting command R and then I'm just going to pull guides in from the rulers to divide this into quadrants. Now, Do you see how my guide kind of snapped into this uh, measurement here where the 4 is? That's because I went to view and I clicked snap on there. So if you click snap or snap to guides, grid, anything that you have here, or you can just click snap, that should snap that line into the nearest point on your ruler. So I'm going to pull that to the four here and here. So now I have an equal grid of four quadrants on my Photoshop document. And I'm going to start by writing my word. Now for me, I did coffee, so I'm going to click here and type percolate. That's my word. And I'm going to select that by hitting Command A to select all. And if I need to change the um, size on that, I can. And then I'm going to click on the text warp button right here. And you can choose really any type of text warp. I could do an arc and then I could play around with how much I want that distorted. Whenever I get to a point that I like it, I can hit OK. I actually, for me, don't want an arc. I think I'm going to do something more like this. OK. So you can play around with different ones. Then when you find something that you like, hit OK. And then we're going to go into our move tool here and hold down the option key. You'll get those double arrows and when you see those double arrows you're going to click and drag. Make sure that you have your show transform controls clicked up here and then you can just hold down your shift key and rotate that perfectly around. Now you want to position both of these words together in some kind of pattern. So I'm going to move this over here and then take the other percolate and maybe I put the peas kind of close together so it almost looks like they're reflecting down. Okay, so that's what I end up with. So now I can take both of these layers and actually I can convert or actually I'm going to rasterize the type and then I'm going to control click again and merge those layers together. So now what I can do is I can go through and reposition that text however I want. Um, I can also double click in percolate here or in the layer of percolate here and add a stroke if I want to. So I'm going to go ahead and choose kind of a light stroke there and then I can do something like add a gradient into the words themselves and if I want to change the colors on that gradient you are going to, let me go back and show you, click right on the gradient and then click in the bottom color here and choose a color that you think would be good and then click on the other color here and same thing just choose a color that would work well with whatever design you're you're working on so for now that's that's pretty good I'm okay with that so when you like what you have go ahead and hit OK and then position it in a way where it's going to repeat evenly throughout the different designs. Now what you may want to do is pull some other guides to kind of indicate where those words should go. So I'm going to pull down a three and a half and a three and a half guide and maybe kind of I think I'm going to rotate this a bit more too. Maybe, nope, I'm going to keep it that way. And that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to create a new layer. 
and I'm gonna start to paint in some coffee beans behind my percolate words. So I go to my paintbrush tool, I select the coffee bean paintbrush down here, make sure I'm in the color that I want. I also need to go to window brush and make some adjustments to make sure that I can see those. There we go. Okay. And I'm just going to start kind of painting those on there. And now I can go back to my move tool and rotate those as well. Now you don't have to rotate these, but you can. And then just kind of position it in a spot that looks pretty good for that corner. Now you may want to create a new layer and do kind of the same thing but in a slightly different color so that you're getting a variety of these beans. And that's going to create even more dimension and depth into your design. So, kind of not really happy with that. I think I'm going to try to rotate it this way and find a position there. Yeah, that's okay. So, and I can play a little bit with these two. I can pull the dark ones up to the top or the lighter ones up to the top and kind of see which ones look better. But I'm pretty happy with that. So at this point I can start to make some adjustments in the background. So if I double click in the background, if I want this to be a solid color I can just double click and do a color overlay and change that to whatever color I want by clicking in the color over here. I think I want to do a gradient overlay, so I'm going to click in the gradient overlay, and I'm going to choose a style of a radial gradient, because that just kind of makes sense with this design, since I have a radial balance. And again, with the gradient, I'm going to go in and select some colors from the coffee beans themselves. And that's a little too dark, so I'm going to go in here and lighten that up quite a bit. And I'm pretty okay with that. So I'm going to hit OK, and that's looking pretty good. So now we need to place our coffee cup designs and uh, my thermos design that I created. So I'm going to go to File, Place, and on my desktop, I have my coffee cup. So there it is, and it's huge, so I'm going to shrink that down so that it's not all pixelated and then position that and I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this once I've positioned it again holding down the option key and pulling and dragging that and then I'm gonna put these into a design so I'm gonna stop for a second while I do that and then I'll uh, go back here when I'm done okay so I've placed some of the coffee cups around and then I've also placed my thermos here and I just wanted to show you that if you decide to rotate your thermos so that it's at a 45 degree angle from the corner, when you click you can hold down your shift key while rotating and that will snap it into that 45 degree angle. So once you see that, you can let go and then pull that into, say if you want it in the corner here, that's fine, or if you would rather kind of line up maybe something like that, that's fine too. And then hit return whenever you get it where you want. And then obviously I'll need to pull this thermos down behind my words there too. Now with the thermos too, I'm going to set this up so that I have the thermos facing perfectly downwards and lining up in my dividing line here. 
So if you want to do something like this where you can make the thermos kind of line up with another thermos or whatever you would want to line up something evenly with on the on the edges you may want to pull down a guide that will show where kind of you've you've lined up your edge here so there's my guide and that's actually looking pretty good and then if I look over here it's two and like let's see three eighths basically it looks like so I'm gonna do the same thing here I'm gonna pull this to two and three eighths and then when I want to duplicate oops well let's try that again here really quickly okay so now I've lined them up and I have both of the ends of these thermoses or these um, yeah thermoses uh, lining up with the guideline that I put there so if that's confusing you uh, you can go ahead and oh, yeah. you can go ahead and just pull those out of the way after you actually have whatever you want to put in that location there so now we have this nice little kind of design and what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy that but before we do that we have to compress all the layers so from the top layer to the bottom hold down your shift key and click in those and then control click merge layers and now I want to show you what you can do here if you go to the middle line you put your crosshairs right in the center there and then you just click hold the shift key and pull it up to the corner and then hit command C now after you've done that hit command option Z command option Z and now you'll have all of your layers back but you can still hit command V and paste that segment that you copied so now you're gonna take your rotate tool or your move tool and you're gonna rotate and transform this layer and pull it over to the second quadrant line it up hit OK so again command V and you're going to rotate this hold down your shift key to snap it into place and then you're going to pull it over here line it up and hit return and then finally one more and rotate that all the way around holding down the shift key and then pull this over and line it up it's pretty close and hit return so now if we hit command colon we can see everything without the guides and that's looking pretty good so we've got a little bit of this thermos that's off so I may need to go in and kind of like adjust either this layer or this layer to make sure that it's lining up correctly. But overall, that is looking pretty, pretty good. And we've got everything in this kind of radial balance. So this is what you want to do when you're putting your mandalas together. And make sure that you have all these different layers in here. I have my coffee bean, my thermos, my words, my mug, and everything is creating this kind of really intricate design all together. So have some fun, experiment, get very detailed, and make something you can be proud of. And I will see you soon.